I'm extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer, and whenever Mother Nature goes wild, I'm there on the ground with the weather report every single time. In this video, I'm counting down the top 10 most extreme winter storms of the past decade, showing you the most intense moments I've caught on camera. Did you live through one of the top five? Let's get right into it and find out. The Valentine's Day blizzard of 2015 was more than just a winter storm. This one was known for its big win. This system was a monster, reaching a crazy low pressure of 958 millibars as it passed east of Cape Cod, which got absolutely pummeled. We gotta go! This dumped big time snow across the southeastern seaboard with a maximum snowfall total of 27.4 inches registered in Ramonston, Maine. Number nine. Northeast again, but this time a bomb cyclone. On January 2nd and 3rd, 2018, the news alerted of blizzard warnings running from Norfolk all the way to Maine and caused crippling conditions and brutal cold across interior New England. This was like a frozen hurricane with a minimum pressure of 949 millibars recorded and a storm surge to boot. I covered this storm from Salem, Massachusetts, where you could see that storm surge along the coast spilling dangerous, freezing cold water ashore. Sadly, there were 22 confirmed fatalities from the bomb cyclone of January 2018 and over 1.1 billion in damages caused. Number 8. Buffalo's Lake Effect Snow Emergency of 2022 hammered the Buffalo South Towns on November 18 and 19, dumping absurd amounts of snow as covered in the news. Making a move with a tape measure here, trying to make an official measurement. This was more than a snowstorm. 81.2 inches of snow was registered at Hamburg and over 80 inches also at Orchard Park, New York, moving the Buffalo Bills game for safety reasons. This storm also had insane thunder snow. I've never seen thunder snow like this, even in a lake effect snowstorm, and I was fired up that I caught it on camera. Oh, lightning! Number seven. In late January of 2019, news channels went wild as a record-breakingly cold air mass surged south from the Arctic, caused by a weakening jet stream around the polar vortex. Real field temperatures colder than 40 below out here. Very dangerous textbook blizzard conditions as these winds are streaming off of Lake Erie right now. This contributed to big time lake effect snow and blizzard conditions downwind from Lakes Erie and Ontario, prompting blizzard warnings, near zero visibilities, and crippling cold downwind of the Great Lakes. Is this something that you see often here in Buffalo? Not this bad, not recently at least. Sadly, at least 22 people died from this record breaking cold air mass but it was the bitter cold and the crippling wind chills that made this storm more than just another Buffalo Lake Effect event. Number six. The bomb cyclone of January 30, 2022 hammered nine states from Maryland to Maine with at least a foot of snow. Not on Dolphin Beach. Look at all the sand and the snow. Winds gusted over 100 miles an hour at the tip of Cape Cod and Boston measured 23.5 inches of snow, its snowiest day on record during the month of January. Three of these pylons were exposed coming into the bomb cyclone this weekend, and uh, the coastal erosion has exposed five or six more. The owner of the house applied for an emergency permit on Tuesday or Wednesday and was denied. Now we're about to get into the top five, but before we do, I'd like to ask that you like, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to see more extreme weather up close. Thanks, and here we go with the top five. Number five. Possibly the most lightning fast winter storm I've ever chased in February 24 of 2020, news reported an Arctic front was moving from west to east across the mountain west in an environment cold enough to support snowfall. Right along this boundary, a skinny band of convection formed, producing whiteout conditions, grapple, thunder, and lightning. This line prompted snow squall warnings along I-70 just to the west of the Eisenhower Tunnel. When it arrived, it dropped visibility to zero and absolutely crippled traffic on the highway. This winter storm was so fast that it didn't dump a ton of snow, but it was incredibly impactful. Number four. The Great Sierra Nevada blizzard of January 17, 2019 was a textbook atmospheric river event on steroids. Snowfall rates are coming down at about two to three inches per hour, but it's the very strong winds that are really gonna cause problems later on. 132 mile per hour sustained winds were measured on the crest of Mammoth Mountain with one whopping gust clocking in at 164 miles per hour. 
50 inches of snow dumped on Mammoth Mountain, contributing to over 100,000 power outages, paired with another occurrence of prolific thundersnow. I got it! I got it! I got it! Yes! Dozens of flashes of lightning were caught on camera at peak snowfall rates, illuminating the sky with every single flash. Number three. The weather forecast was hard to believe, but turned out right as a historic blizzard hammered the southern high plains on February 25, 2013. I-40 was shut down from New Mexico through Texas and Oklahoma during the duration of this storm. Here we are about four miles east of Woodward. Trying to make it to Fairview, but we can't make it. Snow's too deep, so we're turning it around. A maximum wind gust of 75 miles an hour was recorded at the Amarillo National Weather Service office on Monday morning, the 25th, and the 77 mile per hour wind gust was reported at the Pantax nuclear facility. Oh, it's real shaky. Wow. Over 15 inches of snow fell from Amarillo, Texas to Lubbock through northwestern Oklahoma. Number two. The lake effect snow emergency on November 17 to 19, 2014 is well known as one of the worst snowstorms to ever impact the Buffalo, New York area. You can see there are cars trapped everywhere. The Buffalo South Towns and locations just to the east of downtown saw over six feet of snow. While downtown Buffalo and other locations just outside of the lake effect snow plume saw only trace amounts. How's this road up here? Stuck. We're not going this way anywhere. With two lake effect snow surges contributing to over seven feet of snow, 13 people lost their lives and thousands of motorists were stranded in the deep snows. Number one, the great North American blizzard of March 13 of 2019 hammered areas from eastern Colorado into western Nebraska with over two feet of snow and crippling blizzard conditions. The historic blizzard continues to rage out here with winds gusting 60 to 70 miles an hour in the wraparound. This was a bomb cyclone that dropped more than 30 millibars in barometric pressure from Arizona up to Colorado and was on par in terms of pressure fall with a superstorm of 1993. This bomb cyclone set all-time pressure lows for barometric pressure in Colorado, Kansas, and New Mexico. Severe flooding in the days afterward as the thaw happened as one of the worst blizzards to ever strike the central U.S. melted away. So that's my countdown based on what I've experienced on the ground with all of these different insane winter storms. Agree, disagree, or leave your personal story in the comments here. Thanks for watching, be safe out there during this holiday season, and never stop chasing.